I'm going to give you a lesson today that you can go and use. This really is not a complicated lesson. It's more of a concept that I want you to take. When you do, you are going to get a little bit more explosiveness, a little bit more confidence, a little bit more zip in your shots. When we do that, we're a little bit happier, especially when it's simple. Cracking the whip is a very easy concept, but if you get it a little bit wrong, your swing is going to look something a little bit more like this, where you are trying to sort of get a bit more speed, you're trying to force it, and you end up kind of doing something like that, trying to whip it through. So what feel can I give you to trigger that aha moment? First, I want you to grab a towel. We're using a towel because I left my whip at home. Are you serious? However, a towel is just as good to at least help this lesson. Cracking the whip is what it sounds like. It's all about release and extension because the swing is just a circle and we're holding on to an implement that we want to strike with accuracy at the bottom of this circle. But if we don't understand that everything is getting pulled out from us in this whole movement, we're not trying to hold in, okay? We need to sort of let go and allow everything to sort of pull away from us. Not only is gravity going to help us drop into the swing, it's going to help our release as well, but we have to allow it. So grab your whip, grab your towel and an object. A tree is what I'm using. What I want you to feel is where's the power coming from as we release? Is it the body? Is it just trying to fire the hands? Or what's really killing you is holding on to it a little bit too much, trying to steer the club. You need to let go, my friend. So from here, I'm not just using my hands. I'm not steering it. I'm not lunging at it. What I'm trying to do is extend the arms out or rather allow them to extend out and I'm hitting this tree as hard as I can. With my body using rotation to release that club and I'm cracking the whip. The backswing is the wind up and then the whip happens right around here just past the ball. I'm sorry tree. So practice now a few times. Make a backswing and notice where's your fast point when you release through here. Are we cracking the whip down there? Are we cracking the whip just past? Or is the whip sort of cracking over here? Or are we not even sort of cracking it at all? Is there no real oomph in it? Because that's where we have to engage the body, the sequence, and the understanding that we've just got to let go. Hopefully, you spent a couple of minutes trying to get that sensation that when we swing, we're going to whip it through. But how do we do it without force? How do we do it with sequence? Well, here's the thing. We want to try and use the larger muscles to do it. The swing is not going to feel so much about the hands and minutia. It's going to feel like an overall body movement, even though the speed is coming from the wrist, is coming from that release to whip it, to whip it through. We need the body to work and we need the body to help us put on the brakes. We want to be able to stop. That's where the control comes in. That's where the consistency comes in. Because if you get good and consistent and reliable at hitting the same sort of spot here, you're going to have so much better results here, 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 all the way back like goals in life. Where do we want to end up? When you have that target, when you have that focus and you train that feeling, you're going to have the results. Now, there is a little caveat to this. You can overdo it. And what happens when you overdo it is getting a little bit steep into your shots, getting a little bit wayward because you're trying to force it, that angle of attack. It's about smooth acceleration. With that towel in my mind, I'm thinking about a release. The arms are being pulled and extended out that way. My only job after I've cracked the whip is to stop, apply the brakes. But we make sure that our body is working, that it's not just the hands sort of creating this whip. We are using momentum, foot pressure, the weight of the body, getting the core through. 
A perfect example of this is Tommy Fleetwood. Now, I'm not expecting you to go and swing like him, but he does it very well. His swing is shorter, but man, is it efficient. Yes. Tommy Fleetwood keeps very straight arms in his golf swing, back and through. The wrist just slightly sort of hinge. He doesn't really consciously do anything with them. And I've got a lesson on that, which you can check out, but I will talk about that in the future because there are benefits to it. What Tommy does exceptionally well is use his entire body to crack the whip, but he does it upon a stable base and control. He is not trying to steer it, and nor should you. Steering looks something like this. So we're like that. Even if we try and go a little bit faster, we're trying to manipulate the club. We're trying to make our body move a certain way. But when you crack a whip, the body sort of follows. The commitment is already there. It's dictating so much of it for us. So all you need to do, your only task, is to make sure your setup is nice and stable, okay? That you're feeling strong in the feet. That when you wind up and you release, your legs feel powerful. That your feet feel kind of glued to the ground. It doesn't mean you stay flat-footed, but I can feel that I'm using the ground to create that speed and that whip. It doesn't mean we go fast. It doesn't mean we have to hit it harder. We are just cracking the whip upon a stable base. And when you do that, you harness a little bit of your Tommy Fleetwood, but I've got the idea in my head that I'm cracking this whip, I'm using my body, not just my hands, my wind up here is allowing the club to get back. My movement down, my intent to release the club and have those arms stick out right in front of me is going to do the job, okay? So we wind up and we release through. I'm happy with that. Good strike, good result. Go and check out this lesson because it's going to help you get even more precision from such a simple move.